Welcome back to Core Data Course. My name is Andy. In this lecture, we will start building our home report app and demonstrate how we can fetch data from our data store based on certain criteria. In order to show some data in our home report app, we will need to download the sample.json file and images from the resource tab and place it in Xcode project directory. So after you download, you can bring those images and sample.json into our project. So I'm going to right click home report and add files to home report. And I'm going to bring the images and sample.json and add. Now we have those file, the images file and the sample.json. In sample.json, uh, it has information about the city where the home is located, the price, the bed, the bathroom, bathroom, the square foot, the images related to that particular home, and the category of the home, like a single family or a townhome. And it has a status whether that home is for sale, which is identified by true, or if it's already sold, it will have a value of false. So let's find sample of it. Like this one, is for sale equal false? So the first thing that we need to do, we need to start importing this sample.json and put it in our data store. So let's head to the app delegate. And we're going to start by importing our core data framework. Next, I'm going to create a function that will start uploading our data. So before the last curly braces here, I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it check data store. So this function is basically going to do a quick check if the data that we want to upload already exists. And if it's not, then we're going to execute the upload. First, we're going to make the reference to our core data stack. So we want to check how many records currently exist. However, instead of using array count method, core data has a nice function to get the record count without need to pull down all the record in the first place. So this is good for a performance reason. I'm going to call let core data and reference to our core data object. Then we're going to building our request. So it's going to be ns fetch request. And we want to call our entity name, which is home. And this is where I'm going to get the count of how many homes we have in our data store. Core data, manage object contacts. And we're going to use the function from core data called count for fetch request. So we just pass in our request object. And for the error pointer, I'm just going to initiate the init. And to see how many home that we have, I'm just going to print it out to our console. So total home. Equal to the home count. And if home count equal to zero, I'm going to upload the data and I'm going to create a new function here called upload sample data. Okay, so now let's create our upload sample data. Again, I'm going to make a reference to our core data stack. So now we're going to get our sample.json data. So let URL 
and as bundle dot main bundle and URL for resource and the name of our sample data is sample with the extension of JSON then we are going to get the data out of our sample JSON we're going to use the NS data content of URL and passing in our URL so now we're going to read out the sample.json file and insert it into our data store so I need to unwrap this so after we get the data we will read the data and convert the JSON object into a dictionary object for our app so first we're going to get the JSON result which is uh, going to be a dictionary that we read out from our JSON data. So I'm going to call it JSON result equal NS JSON serialization dot JSON object with data. And here we're going to pass in the data that we get earlier. And for the reading option, is going to be mutable containers and then we will cast this result into an ns dictionary since ns json serialization call is the type of call that can throw an error so we need to unwrap this into using our do block so i'm going to put this entire code and move it inside our do block and then we need to have the catch so I'm going to call this just fatal error error in uploading data and we need to add the try keyword right there all right so after we got the dictionary then we need to convert that dictionary into an array so i'm going to call it json array which is a json result dot value for key and this is going to be home as and as array so the value for key equal home here this is coming from sample.json where the root of the json data is called home so we need to match that okay now that we have our array we can simply loop through our array so i'm going for json in json array next thing that we will do we need to start creating our entity so i'm going to call it let home equal ns entity description dot insert new object for entity name and this is going to be home entity and we have the manage object context and we can get it from our core data that manage object context and we're going to cast this result into a home entity now we can start insert our data into our data store so we can just use home dot county equal to the json array and we want to get the county from the dictionary and we're going to cast this as a string next is the price so similar thing json at price and we will cast this into an ns number so remember when we see the properties 
in our home so the price is have a type of ns number although the in the entity the attribute is a type of double but in the object on the shift file is going to be an ns number next is the bedroom going to json bed again is as ns number then home for bathroom as number next is the square foot square foot again as and as number now we're going to also insert the category into our category entities so let's build that and as entity description and the entity name is category again is a core data dot manage object context and for the category we will have the home type equal to json dot category and this is going to be as ns dictionary and then we want to get the home type under the category structure in our sample.json so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mm. surround this with the parentheses and we're going to get the home type and then convert this into a string we need to cast this as a category entity okay so the next thing is we need to enter this category object into our home we can simply call home dot category and we pass in our category entities next we want to capture the status so let's build our status entity this is going to be a status and again core data dot manage object context and we're going to cast this to our status and for the is for sale so in our sample.json so the is for sale is coming as a boolean but remember that in our properties under status the is for sale have been converted into an ns number by xcode by the core data so we need to do a little bit of conversion here so first i'm going to get the is for sale value first from the sample.json so i'm going to call this json status as an s dictionary and then we're going to get the is for sale out of that dictionary and uh, cast that into a boolean so now the is for sale is a boolean now we need to convert that boolean into an ns number so let's do that so i'm going to call status that is for sale equal ns number boolean and we pass in the is for sale boolean value and lastly since the status is part of the home entities we can include that home dot status and then pass in our status entity Oops, we want this to be lower case status. 
Okay, next we're going to get the location information. So let's create our location entity. And cast this to our location object. And this one is pretty simple. We just get the location that city equal to JSON city as string. Then the same thing. We want to put the location into our home entities. And now for our image, we need to convert our image to uh, the binary data so we can insert that into our data store. So let's get the image first. Image name equal JSON image. As string. And now we are, we're going to create our image. Let image UI image with name equal to image name. So from here, we need to get the binary data out of our image. Oh, we need to unwrap that. So let image data is going to be UI image since our image is in the form of a jpeg file so we are going to use ui image jpeg representation and here we pass in our image and the compression quality we just want to make it the same as the original so just put one finally we can insert that image into our home entity We need to unwrap the image. And then for the last step to make sure that we got our information stored in core data, we need to call the core data that save context. So I want to put a quick check here to make sure that indeed we're getting some record inserted in our entity here. So I'm going to do a simple fetch request entity name home and i'm just going to get the home count that we did earlier and then we're just going to print out the total home after the upload process is complete. The only thing left right now is we need to call our function when the app is loaded. So scroll up to the at but the top before the return true, we just need to call our function so check data store. Now let's build and run our project and if all good then we should get some indication that the record have been inserted to our data store and it's ready to use. So let's see I'm going to change this to just like before iPhone 5s and click play. Now we can see that before the insertion we got home equal zero and after our upload we got 22 homes in our data store now so we're going to stop here and on the next lecture we will start looking into predicate and how we can run query with some criteria so until next time